Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chase, and this is All Things Rim. Today, we're looking at a pair of Rock Rooster hiking boots. And while we're reviewing these hiking boots, I'm finally going to test out this Avtrek mountaineering watch in the mountains of Alaska. Okay, so what are we discussing today? Today, another set of boots from Rock Rooster Boots. Now, I did do a video on some black tactical hiking boots that I wear at work every single day, and those things are such good quality boots that I decided to have a second pair, except instead of black, I decided to go with like a gray so that I could actually wear them hiking. The black boots work just fine. The gray, it's just, you know, a little different than just straight black. So let's just flip the camera around, unbox these real quick, and let's go hit the trail and test out both the watch and the boots. Okay, and these specifically are gonna be the Farland. These are a six inch waterproof hiking boot. Me, I'm a size 10 and a half, and that's exactly what these are. Now these are going to be a gray. Now the one thing that I really like about their boots are they're not very expensive at all. Suede, upper, leather, Goodyear, rubber sole. And honestly, these are non-slip rubber soles. So I look forward to taking these in the mountains because right now it's drizzling. So these are really gonna get a beating. It's not only gonna test the HydroGuard on this, which is a thin membrane that makes it waterproof, but it's also gonna test out the traction of the boot itself. Now with these boots, I know that they do have a one year warranty. Here's a card inside. And here is the other boot. And of course, like my other set of Rock Roosters, they do come with a pair of OEM or from the factory laces. That's good to see because everybody could always use more laces. Now, just like the other pair, this does have an anti-fatigue sole to include the insole on this. So it's gonna last for a long period of time. I only hope these are just as comfortable as my black tactical hiking boots. Let's go ahead and toss them on the feet and let's hit the trail. Okay, now this is just the parking lot. This is where we're gonna get started, right? Reset the watch. And honestly, this is where the boots better hold up. It's exactly like I thought. It is rainy, it's dreary, it's muddy. We're gonna see if the Goodyear soles really do help my grip. And we're gonna see if these are waterproof. Okay, now before I get started up the mountain, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the altimeter on this watch and that's because we're starting at a low level it's going to be a three and a half mile hike up so i want to make sure i want to just see what the reading is so we're going to go ahead and reset it calibrate zero yes done so now we're starting at zero so i want to see just how accurate that is, at least climbing up the mountain. At the very least, if you're gonna say you're a mountaineering watch, you should easily be able to tell me what the altitude is. So we're starting at zero, let's find out.
Okay, so I'm gonna give you some final thoughts before my phone dies while we're up here at the summit of Flat Top. So these boots, I didn't even give them a chance to break in, but honestly, my feet feel great, like none at all. And in fact, yesterday I dropped a bed frame on my big toe of my left foot and it swelled to about twice the size. Well, maybe not twice the size, but it was, you know, very, very uncomfortable simply to walk. And these boots gave me just enough room without being loose, but enough to be comfortable even with an injury like that. So already that's high in my opinion. And honestly, when it comes to like right now, it's misting because at the top of the mountain, you know, there's a cloud passing by. So it's misty and rainy. But even with all the wet rock, I was pretty surprised just how much grip I had with these boots. Now, how do I feel about this watch? Well, it says I'm at 1300 and two feet. Well, we're gonna go back down to the base of the mountain. Well, not the base of the mountain, to the parking lot where everything begins at the Chugiak National Park here in Anchorage, Alaska. And we're gonna see just what it says on that. And if it's close, then great. I'll give it a thumbs up. If it's not even close, if it's like 1600 feet and this says 1300, well, 300 to me is a big margin of error that I don't think it should have. So, what do I feel about Rock Rooster? Great boots, I'd highly recommend them. I'm extremely happy that they held up as good as they did. My feet feel fine, comfortable, they gripped. Now, coming up a mountain is easy. Going down is where the grip is really gonna be tested. So, am I excited about that? No, not at all. But, gotta get down, right? So, would I recommend them? Yeah. Would I recommend this watch? Well, hold on. Okay, so now that I'm back at the car, I can tell you that this thing is actually pretty accurate. Uh, you'll see right here that I actually was recording it on the way down, and then I was like, okay, it's minus three feet, and then I looked again, it was like zero in the parking lot, like absolutely zero. So it started and returned to the same elevation, up and down. Now, it says that basically the altitude gain is about 1,300 to 1,400 feet, which is right in the range of exactly what it said. So actually I was pretty happy with just how accurate the altimeter was on the Mountain Compass watch. Now as for coming down with the uh, Rock Rooster boots, honestly, again, pretty comfortable, right? My toe is swollen and there was enough support around the ankle and the lacing that it's not like my feet slid forward, caused any pain, nothing like that. Honestly, I'd say they're both winners. Watch, which I was really surprised with. I was like 75 bucks, no way is it gonna be worth anything. But honestly, like it's pretty accurate. And the boots, like, great. So hit that subscribe button. There's not gonna be an outro. This is the outro. I just burned off at least 1600 calories. I'm starving. I'm dehydrated. And I will see you in the next one.